Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is what I'm dealing with. I just wanted to give an update and people are asking to see my tiny house. However, it's a little hard to do that. So I'm just going to move the camera a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't make anyone sick. But um, here we go. So this is all from the auction. The countertop, unpacking a few things, boxes down below, the tools, more tools that I have to show still, and I don't know if you can see my wood stove. Down here it's just roaring, so I'm ready to take off my jacket and start filming. And, oops, more goodies down lower. And up above there are some lofts and I do have, sorry you're going to see me make adjustments to the camera for a minute. I do have the lofts and the books I have are starting to be stored up there. And I don't know if I can get around, bear with me please. Okay. So there's my upper loft, and then this is the one I have my books on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see any of this. There's some cupboards I'll be using. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Behind that door there is my washroom. It's never been used, but I had the tools and everything stored in there. And then these are a few items, empty totes. And that is a bright light. Uh, those ones have been shown already. And I'm just setting up for another viewing today. I do them back to back, four or five at a time. Now I'm going to set the camera and sit still for a minute. And just so you know that um, when you do make suggestions, like turning up the volume... It doesn't happen for a few of the videos because, like I say, I am doing multiple videos at a time. And I'll just sit here and chit-chat. People are asking some questions while I set up my camera and my lighting. And I just wanted to give a shout-out. I haven't watched it yet, but a Juliet, AJ Retro and Vintage, did an unboxing the other day. She finally got her lot, and um, I haven't watched it yet, but you might as well go over to her YouTube channel, show her the same kind of love that you show me, and just watch it. A friend of mine, Joni, from Vintageous Vintage China, or Glass in China, she is still waiting on her items, and it's taking a while, and she's, she will be doing the unboxings, and I can't wait for those. Just very excited because she got some really good glass. So there's for AJ. Like I say, AJ, comma, S, retro, vintage, retro and vintage. Other people are asking about chalkware. I don't know a whole lot about chalkware, but what I do know is it's... 40s, 50s, they would make it out of gypsum. Um, other people know it as plaster of Paris. And, sorry, this one light is blaring right on me. They made it out of plaster of Paris, so it was inexpensive. They would, I think they call it circus um, chalkware too because they used to give it out at, when you went to the circus and you'd play games, throw darts, win a prize, you'd win chalkware. And it's very hard to find a piece that hasn't been painted. Those are rare. And if you find one, I'm told that they're worth a lot, a lot of money. Yesterday my video was a little short because my puppy had been inside for a little while and she was missing me, so I worry about that. I do drop things um, because they are important to me. 
I have a friend and I keep mentioning him. His name is Lawrence. If I type his name, I just type LP because it's easier for me. Just so you know who I'm talking about all the time. Well, today he has the dogs and he will be taking them to the park and doing a bunch of things with them. I'm just trying to straighten my camera. It just looks a little off kilter there. And so he's got them entertained. No, it's still not. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. And he will entertain them for the day. So I won't have to worry about taking them for a walk until this evening. And he helps me a lot. He goes to town every day. I live about 45 minutes from the city. He just took all the boxes to the post office this morning. So when I, I have the giggles today. When I got up this morning, it was hilarious. Feet hit the floor, trying to get the wood stove going, answering emails, packing up parcels. It was just mayhem. And then he calls me because he lives really close to me here. And uh, he calls me and I'm like, stop calling me. I'm busy. <laughs> So he's laughing. I said, come get the wood stoves going. Help me out. So he rushes over and gets my stove going. And then he gets the one going in here. Like I say, I have the giggles today. And I don't know if this video will make any sense at all. And uh, But I did want to share a few things with you. So needless to say, the parcels are wrapped, packaged, and sent out the door. The other question is, people are wondering if the items are for sale for right now. Anything is for sale. They will be um, through emails, melanie.freedom46 at hotmail.com. And the link is in the description below. That's how I'm dealing with it right now. I take a box into my house, which is getting a little busy in there. So sending off the parcels today emptied out some of that, which was great. I take a box in, let it get room temperature, wash it up, and people ask questions about something out here in this tiny house. And I answer questions, do research, and we go from there. <clears throat> people are asking also what has sold. The rudiment book in the very beginning, it had all that really yellowing uh, tape on it. it. The book was well loved. It was one of my favorite pieces. And I sold that right off the bat. Um, there was uh, just a single saucer for a teacup. I didn't have the cup, but the saucer with the sun shining on the plate, that one sold right away. A literature book. Uh, two ceramic flower frogs that you all helped me with. I was going to save them for uh, a live sale, but the lady wanted them and she was very patient with me looking them up and doing research. So I gave her a, a good deal on those ones. Uh, the sweet pea cup and biscuit tray, that one sold. And that was all in the first few videos. Then we go on to a few more videos and Holly Hobby Trivet. Um, sewing patterns by, I think, two, four, six, seven sewing patterns, because I do have all of them, but I think five listed on my Etsy store, and those have been selling. And then I sold one of those crystal blocks. It was the dolphin jumping through the heart. And then we move on to a little later videos, although backtracking the bumblebee with the my wire legs and stuff that one sold the etiquette book sold. I had a few people interested um one lady wanting to buy it off the first buyer, but the stories are you know everybody has a history and a connection why they would like that book, so I sent that off this morning. Um, a coffee cup, a Wade Whimsy turtle, a few Etsy items that weren't related to Curiosity Inc. Um, a few little of the pamphlet books, um, flamingo wire framed pictures, chalkware. They sold the black background with the pink. Uh, quite a few little pieces there. Mm -hmm. The plastic 
green and brown flowers have sold and then some piano books. There is an ongoing list for this one lady and she just pays me up and then we'll hold off in shipping them. Because I live in a tiny house, I kind of ask, okay, the box is full, can we move it along? And, and one lady was great this morning. I said, okay, well, I have this one box. And it happened to be all-inclusive. The shipping in Canada, insurance, tracking, everything included. And I had this box that was gifted to me. So I asked the one lady, if, if I fill it, is that okay? Oh, perfect, she says. Then she doesn't have to pay the shipping. So a few items of hers didn't fit in the box, but at least most of them I got in there and got them out of the house. And I just this morning sold another trivet, um, a resinware one. And I'm just trying to think of a few things. Housekeeping is what most people call it. But anyways... I'm enjoying this. Today was really funny and so I have an upbeat attitude and enjoying this. I understand that having items that have been broken, it doesn't bother me personally that it happened, but it bothers me because I am a caregiver of these items that are vintage and they need to be cherished and they came from Madame Rack's house and that bothers me. I would I would have wanted better that I didn't do any damage. I know there was one item people were asking about buying it and boom, now I put a chip on it. And it's just uh, because I do try to cherish it all and handle it kindly. It doesn't look like it when I show you all the boxes, but it is these boxes aren't being moved around except when I've been asked to look for something. I'm the only one going in here except lighting the wood stove so they're not being moved around. I will be working on listing items on my Etsy page. If it is, and that takes me a while, if it is something that you're interested in and I have put it on Etsy, I will let you know that in an email and you can just pop over there and take a look. I'll link all that into the description below. And in this video, I think I'll just end it here because it's kind of mixed matched, um, making people dizzy, that sort of professional filmer that I am. And I'll get into unboxing more in the next video. Thanks for spending time with me. Have a great day.